It's coming up here. It's on an orange building, I think. Ah, so it should stand out. Yeah. Oh, there's three of them. There are three. And a convenient parking space right here for us. Hi, I'm Bethany, and that's Drew. It's common knowledge that Los Angeles is also known as the City of Angels. In this bustling metropolis, the cities are filled with creative minds and works of art. Almost one decade ago, artist Colette Miller decided to start a project that has since then become the most photographed artwork in all of LA. You've probably seen her artwork and perhaps even stopped to get a selfie. And today, we're searching the streets of LA to find as many as we can. It's the Global Angel Wings Project, coming up on Odyssey Odysseys. I just found three of them. No fair. Selfie. <laughs> I call this one. I'll get the middle one. We are in Los Angeles attempting to track down as many angel wing murals as we can before it gets dark. Yep, we got about 20 of them we're going to try to find. Should be quite the adventure. I'm sure there are a lot more. Oh yeah. But these are also ones that we wanted to find in generally the same areas. Right. So we'll see what happens. You think 20 is doable in one day? Well, I think that parking will be a huge factor in that. Parking is going to take up most of our time. <laughs> For? Can't see because the sign has too many stickers on it. <laughs> uh, I think so. I think it's four. Yeah, okay, we'll try this. Oh, I see the tops of them, I think, on the left. Uh, these. The first ones ever. These are the first wings ever. They're historic. Yes. Let's park. We gotta get out and see these. So I've seen these wings all over the city, but how did this project get started? Well, artist Colette Miller, who is originally from Richmond, Virginia, moved to L.A. in 1999 and started the project in 2012, the year it was speculated the world would end. And there they are. <laughs> there they are. Well, that's a good reason to try to leave your mark on the world. Yep. Oh, and turns out painting these was borderline illegal. Oh, yeah. And Colette painted them at night, hiding behind a truck that her friends owned. So they were helping her out so no one would see her. Oh. There's even a stool here. That's what it is. She painted them too high. Ah, so they installed this nice little yeah. lever. So now normal people can stand there and it looks proper to stand in front of the wings. You even see too, the 2012 is down there. Oh yeah, when it all started. All right, 100 more to go. So it should be right up here. Oh, I see it already. It's right on the corner on the left. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the big one. Yeah. Wow, that is big. <laughs> you can't miss that one. It's telling me that I'm a goddess living in the city of angels. Would you say that's accurate? Oh, we got the walk sign too. Ah! Get it. Crossing. Ah, see? You are a goddess living in a city of angels. It is impressive. And I'm to stand in the middle. It's an impulse, yeah. I can't help myself. <laughs> The thing about the project is that it started in LA, but she's also painted her wings around the world. So in Mexico, Cuba, Australia, all these other countries, really giving it the name Global. Wow. All right, time to start looking. It should be right down here. Aha. Ah. There they are. In a purple box. So that's the um, Grammy Museum one. Oh. We are outside the Grammy Museum. Ooh. Where we have spotted another set of wings right here. I'm just drawn to them, you know, because they're life size. It just begs you to like come and stand right in the middle. So I will. They're interactive. This one's specialized specifically for the Grammy Museum. You've got musical notes, not to mention the fact that it says Grammy Museum at the top of it. It's been said that Colette decides where to paint these wings based upon which neighborhoods she feels need some cheering up. There's a pair at Angel City Brewery, you can't miss those. And a couple outside of the Regent Theater. Okay, we're not getting out for this one. <laughs> this is Skid Row. I feel like we'll get the gist of it from our cameras in the car. Hopefully. I wonder too what Colette had to go through to paint some of these. I guess she did it at night or during the day. I can't imagine she painted this one at night. It should be on this corner. Oh, it used to be. You see it? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's where it was, anyhow. And this is the only shot we're going to get. Aww. 
Oh my god, we should not be driving down this street. Beautiful art. I'm in so much danger right now. Okay, well that one's done. Check that one off the list. Oh yeah, from the binder. Here. I'm in traffic behind <laughs> a guy in an electric wheelchair. So it is easy to see why the Angel Wings are some of the most popular locations to be photographed on Instagram. Right, because they're life-sized. Life-sized, there's a lot you can do with them. They're everywhere, they're fun to find, makes for the perfect... There they are. <laughs> life-sized. All right, after you. You know what? We couldn't leave out the small children and dogs. Right, it's nice that she thought of them. Actually, it would be cute. We had like a little golden retriever, something for everybody in Los <laughs> Angeles. My angel wings are growing out of my butt. I think it's time for you to Shrink? get a bigger size. <laughs> ah, I need some bigger wings. All right, let's go. We're in Glendale now, and then we'll just buzz over to Studio City for another pair. So keep your eyes open. What are we looking for? <laughs> We're looking for angel wings, oh. believe it or not. I gotta pull over, because I'm driving too slow and there's traffic. Yes, that's a good idea. From what we saw online, a lot of them are in between buildings. So, so it might be hard to find them just driving down the street. Do you remember seeing any pictures about what it was close to? Oh, there they are, right across from Starbucks. Oh, we could have just parked right there where I pulled over. Yeah, see? Kind of in between the buildings, as you it's, said. It's like, a, where's Waldo? Mm -hmm. This parking spot is right in front of the drive <laughs> Starbucks. We could just like grab people's coffee. You work on that. I'm gonna go take a selfie. I think it's a block that way, but that's one way going this way. We'll go around. All right, this one's on Vine. Coming out here behind Cactus. I love Cactus. Can we stop and get some burritos? Uh, maybe a little later. It looks kind of crowded right now. <laughs> uh, ooh, I see it through the fence. Ooh, yep. Right there behind that Target cart, which is interesting because there's no Target anywhere nearby. Uh... All right, we're losing daylight, so here's another one. What's it say here? These wings were painted to remind humanity that we are the angels of this earth. Installed in March 2016 oh. in honor of Project Angel Food's 10 millionth meal. Wow. So I'm going to feel proud to stand in front of this one. All right, we got more to find. Okay. Here's ah. another set in Koreatown. Yeah. This one looks different, though. I don't think it's hers. Oh, this It doesn't have her signature. Yep. Even, like, the style is all different. And yeah, there's loads of angel wings that are not hers. Doesn't feel right. <laughs> it feels weird here. Still looks okay. Yeah. Oh, well, we do have other ones we can find, right? <laughs> yeah. Melrose Avenue. All right, so we had a couple of busts, a couple have been painted over. It's a bummer. But we're not giving up. There should be one right down here. And I think this one is fairly well known as far as tourist attractions Being, go. Having pictures taken of it. Yeah, exactly. So if this one's gone, we're really. There's in no hope. Oh, I see it. You see it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Yay. finally. Finally, we found another one. So living in Los Angeles, we've definitely seen these before we decided to shoot the episode. <laughs> yeah, seen one uh, once before when we were shooting Sky Space, right? There are actually two sets of wings at Sky Space LA. For that, though, you do need tickets to get inside. But if not, you can also watch our episode on Sky Space LA. At Mosaic Tile House, they had a set of wings. And there's also a set at Ricardo Bresela's gallery. Oh, so all of our familiar places. Those weren't Colette's, of course, but they, you know, the angel wings thing, you know, it's become like this phenomenon that a lot of artists are copying. Colette Miller has set up the project. LA is a city of angels, often known for its street art and murals. It's fitting the interactive street art angel wings project started here. There you have it, 20 different sets of angel wings in Los Angeles. And hey, if we missed any, be sure to leave those in the comments below because we would love to check those out too. Colette Miller once said, I created the Interactive Street Art Angel Wings project to remind humanity that we are the angels of Earth. So thank you, Colette, for leaving the universal symbol of divinity around the world for us to enjoy. And to stay updated on our adventures, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. And we will see you on the next Oddity Odysseys. So what's for dinner? Wings? Wings! There's a takeout place right over here. Sounds great.
Never mind that. Never mind that.